There is photographic and video evidence that the Earth absolutely cannot be flat. Take this picture. It's the famous picture of Mount Rainier at dusk or dawn, with the shadow being cast upward onto the bottom of the clouds. But flat earthers can't accept that. Some of them seem to think that this is just the shadow of the peak of the mount sticking up through the clouds and still cast downwards. If that was the case, the shadow will get narrower as it gets further away from the mountain. But it doesn't. Now, a couple of years ago, I was in Dubai and I thought this is a great chance to get video evidence of an upwardly cast shadow. I tried to film the Burj Al Khalifa at sunset and hoped that I'd see the shadow go up the Burj as sunset progressed. Unfortunately, the Burj Al Khalifa is rather reflective. It's all mirrored glass, so that didn't work. So I've had a bit of a dig around and I have found video proof. Unfortunately, my video evidence isn't of the Burj Al Khalifa, which would have been nice. I think I'd better explain why this is important. If the Earth is a sphere and the sun sets, then the sun, when it's just poking up over the horizon, should cast shadows upwards. So if you can find a very tall object, you should see the shadows of shorter objects cast upon it. Mountains. Have a look at this. This is a beautiful piece of film of Mount Everest at dawn. As the sun gets higher in the sky, the shadow gets lower and lower. This is the shadow of other mountains, other distant objects. But how can the sun be casting a shadow upwards unless the sun is literally appearing lower in the sky than those other mountains? Even on a flat earth, if you're saying the sun is 3,000 miles high, it's just a very, very long way away, the shadows at very most could be virtually horizontal, not upwards. Here's another video shot from 14 and a half thousand feet of dawn on Everest. Again, you can see the shadows going downwards. I can think of no explanation of what that shadowing object is that's being cast onto Everest, other than other mountains, which are shorter by definition, because Everest is the tallest mountain in the world. And if we replay this from the beginning and pause the video, you can see that small sunlit portion with no explanation of why that bit is in sun and lower bits aren't. So, Mr. Flat Earthers, if you're not willing to accept those slam dunk pieces of video, how about this one? This is taken from nearly the peak of Everest at dawn. You can see the sun. As we pan around, you can see that all the other mountains are in shade. And when we get round to further along the ridge, you can see it's sunlight here at the top of Everest. Let's play that bit again and then carry on. Beautiful dawn, shaded mountains, sunlit top of Everest. But if we continue on further, the filmer pans round. We will see the very peak of Everest now. As we look up, there it is in sunlight. But even better than that, he carries on panning round. And what can we see? We can see all the other mountains in the distance all in shade. But better than that, absolute beauty. Can you see that dark pinkish curve? That's called the belt of Venus. It literally is the shadow of the earth being cast up. Therefore, the sun must be lower than the earth from your vant vantage point. Flat earthers, you failed. Unless you can explain this, you have to except that the earth cannot be flat. Until next time, stay sensible.